today i'm gonna show you how you can mix up really cool visual looping animations in blender with uh, just some simple basic node setup well this is not a beginner friendly video but uh, i will try my best to keep things more simple so let's start over and uh, open blender on your computer now get rid of both of them and press shift plus a to add a uv sphere press one on your keyboard to head over to the front view and uh, make sure the camera is selected then press ctrl alt and zero to align the camera to the view now go to your output properties and uh, change the resolution of the camera to 1080 by 1080 pixels head over to the camera properties and increase the focal length of the camera the scene is almost set up so let's move further away now since we are dealing with displacements we need to have some more geometry over the uv sphere so for that let's subdivide the uv sphere tap for edit mode then right click and subdivide with a number of cuts to 5 and smoothness to 1 after that apply shade smooth make sure the uv sphere is selected add another modifier called the subdivision surface to make sure that uh, uh, you don't get a uh, render with a broken geometry if your viewport is lagging a lot you can hide the modifier in the viewport by clicking on this icon now click on the material preview and uh, then head over to shader editor add some materials into the uv sphere select the uv sphere and uh, press new to add a new material press shift plus a to add a displacement node join it to the displacement in the material output add in a color ramp node join it to the height in the displacement node color ramp uh, provides a great control over the textures or uh, materials you are using in any object you can just uh, drag the sliders to get a better control over now we will add two more nodes the wave texture node and the Voronoi texture node also if you have uh, the node wrangler add-on enabled select the Voronoi texture and uh, press ctrl plus t to get the texture coordinate and the mapping node setup join the Voronoi texture to the wave texture and the wave texture to the color ramp. As you can clearly see, we have some weird kind of textures going over the UV sphere. Now we need to fix some values to get a better look for the scene. So head over to wave texture and reduce the scale value of the wave texture to 1. Then head over to the Voronoi texture and change the distance metric from Euclidean to Manhattan. Reduce the scale value to somewhere between 2 or 3. Now decrease the randomness of the Voronoi texture to all the way 0. Now go to the texture coordinate and connect the window of the texture coordinate to the vector in the mapping node the scale value in the displacement makes sure that uh, how large do you want the textures or the displacement of the textures to work we will decrease the scale value to 0.2 change the render engine from ev to cycles select the device type to cpu or gpu enter viewport and rendered max samples to 32 and 128 and uh, under color management change the look to punchy or you can go with with any other value if you want then go to world properties under color add an environment texture and uh, go with any hdri image or any environment texture which you want to be used for the scene now click on rendered view to get a preview of the scene to render properties and uh, under film click on the transparent option to make your background transparent now increase the metallic value in the principal to bstf shader to reduce the roughness a little bit as you can see that uh, the displacement uh, over the uv sphere is uh, actually not happening at the moment so what we have to do that is uh, go to the material properties and uh, under settings change the displacement type from bump only to displacement only as you can see that it, after changing the displacement type from bump only to displacement only actually has applied the displacement over the surface of the uv sphere if you want to add some more materials uh, you are free to go if you want to animate the textures you can just simply loop the rotation values to get a looping animation or you can just play with all of these values to get that looping effect and uh, that's enough for today's video uh, hope you guys learned something new if you found the video useful do drop a like subscribe the channel and don't forget to add your valuable comment hope to see you all in the next video till then stay tuned and keep learning